Hey everyone, I'm back. Uh, gonna try some different stuff here, and, and I'm gonna adapt it to the magnifier. Uh, I've got uh, the uh, Sec Exciter running here, uh, just like Dof Dr. Stifler uh, has shown in uh, a couple PDFs. He's got the circuit there. Um, took me a while to finally get these all lit. Started with just trying to light one or two, and and I've uh, made my way down there. But um, there's 48 LEDs, um, or each uh, 1.3 volt or something like that, 20 milliamp, and uh, they're pretty bright. Uh, you can't really tell because the, the lights are on, obviously. But uh, 48 of them, so we got enough voltage to push right across to the other side through the AV plug, and. Uh, Put uh, two diodes forward and back uh, in parallel there, uh, just because there's some voltage drop through the diodes. And uh, yeah, it's weird. I've never seen other people doing that. Usually, just try to force everything through those tiny little wires. So putting them in parallel is a little bit, a little bit better, I think. I think. Yeah, got the uh, tower here. Just one connection, and coming off of it. Makes total sense. Uh, I had been always taking power at the base of the coil, and uh, maybe it doesn't matter, but it makes more sense to uh, harvest the top of the coil, where the voltage is highest. Um, I've got it uh, grounded here, just to the uh, electrical ground in the building here. So if I take that, then it's got doesn't have any reason to go anywhere and just doesn't light up. So uh, got those going. And the uh, circuit here, uh, I've got the uh, first tower, and uh, it's pretty interesting how he connects it. Uh, it's not really like there's a, a voltage step up. It's uh, it's almost like it's it's you know spiking off the collector and then going up that coil, and same connection to that coil. And for some reason, there's less power here than there is down here. Uh, so I, I assume there's a reason <laughs> there's these two towers instead of just the one. Um, but he's got a lot of circuits showing a, a variety of different uh, arrangements. <clears throat> so this is the spatial energy coherence. And uh, running on 12 volts, 30 milliamps. Um, so if I did a quick calculation, uh, there's about, um, uh, what was it, 0.5 watts or something, and here it's closer to 0.8 watts. If you uh, assume these aren't fully bright, say about 15 milliamps uh, times uh, the voltage that you know takes all the way across, it's going to be over, over, you know. 50 volts, or one point something each, so it's pretty interesting uh, for that amount of current and voltage going in to get enough voltage to reach right around and uh, still have some brightness. It's pretty cool. So, <clears throat> on the uh, magnifier, I'm going to make this my choke, and this the base connection, and then I'm going to tap it uh, somewhere along here. I've got this bared out so that I can tap along that, and that will be basically um, this tap connection and the base, obviously. Uh, so, base and top connection, and uh, yeah, it should be pretty, pretty exciting. Have this running totally quiet, and uh, the recoil system. <clears throat> uh, some other stuff I'm working on with the Don Smith. This is going to be the primary actually, and uh, run it off of a, a Meg circuit. And uh, over here, uh, these are going to be my step down coils. So this is going to be the, the stepping up and stepping down um, and just for fun I've got a, a little uh, Abacoil here 
running a couple LEDs. And this has been going for a few days, and uh, I put two just because it's you know just the one AA, so it's unable to light two LEDs as it is. Um, and to have them going for a few days, pretty bright. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it going. Um, you can see I can uh, turn that up even more, but I want it to be uh, kind of sustainable. And LEDs do create a bit of heat, so minus uh, if, the, if there was no heat ring produced, I wonder how long it would run. Uh, another interesting thing is. Uh, Instead of uh, running straight to the end of the battery or positive or negative, I've got the negative of the AV plug running to the positive, the positive running to the negative, and that brought up the light, and it's taken it, uh, you know, a day past what I, what I have before in the past. So, 10k resistor, uh, 10k pot, and a uh, little transistor, just so I can handle the the one double A. And this is pretty cool. So I don't know if it's because of the AVA coil or if it's uh, because of this AV plug being reversed. Um, but yeah, these are going pretty nice. Uh, yeah, moving down, I'm gonna strip the heat sinks off this so I can run a little more current through everything. Um, anyway, got all my stuff at work here, so can't really work on it at home. Got to be too much stuff. But anyway, this is pretty cool. And uh, you're going to see a solid state magnifier in the future here using this circuit. Thank you, Dr. Stifler.